What's going on, Fusion students? How we doing? How we doing? What's up, Fusion fam? What up? So here's the deal, y'all. I will let you know that we miss you, and yes. holy smokes, it's time to go. Yeah, it is. Um, but I'm so glad that you've tuned in with us tonight. It's so good to be with you via the web. Via the web. Yes. And, yes. And if you're watching this on Instagram, man, share the share it. All right. Share it. Yeah. Just yes. put it in your story. Yes. Okay. Share comment it. down below. Yes. And if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Okay. That's right, right there. Yes. Right there. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit that mug. So yes. super excited uh, that you're with us tonight. So we're starting a new series called Reset. Ooh. Okay. And so we kind of gave y'all a glimpse of that in the beginning. But um, Winston, tell them what Reset's about. Okay. Your boy is fired up about this series. Reset. This entire series, okay, is going to uh, help you, the student, mm -hmm. uh, reset uh, not only your personal life or just life stuff, mm -hmm. but more importantly, your relationship with God, mm -hmm. okay? Because let's all be honest, we've all needed to hit mm -hmm. a reset. Mm -hmm. Like, like we've been doing some things yeah, that's right. over a period of time, mm -hmm. and we're just like, we're not getting anywhere, right? And our decisions are are maybe uh, the consequences are negatively affecting our lives. Mm -hmm. And it's like, hold on, yeah, let's hit the pause. Let's hit the pause. Time yeah. out and reset. Yeah. So as you've kind of looked at this time during uh, COVID and you've been in quarantine, man, man, if you look back and you say, hey, man, I haven't utilized this time the best way. Here's the deal. We don't want to shame you. You're not like, here's the deal. We've wasted time too at, at times. Okay. We've all done that. So what we want to do tonight though, is set some direction yeah. that will hopefully, as once I said, uh, propel us in a way that will help us grow in our walk with Christ. So before I read this verse out of Second Chronicles, Winston, will you pray for us? I'd love to. Yeah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, so thankful for this day. Thankful for tonight. Um, thankful for this time. God, we ask that you would uh, use this time, Father God, that your word would be would go forth with clarity and would impact everyone who is on the receiving end watching this right now, God. And I'm thankful for our students, thankful for their families. God, continue to cover us and be with us during this time. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So there's a passage in 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 7 that I think is so applicable for us as we talk about reset. God is addressing the nation of Israel here, and this is what he says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14. This is so good. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves mm. and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven I will forgive their sin and heal their land. That's so good. It's so good. Listen, God <laughs> drops uh, this statement that I absolutely love. These are if-then statements. And I absolutely love if-then statements, especially as I am trying to train my young son mm. on trying to just eat or sample vegetables, okay? So yeah. uh, he doesn't like vegetables. I don't know why they're so good. Love me some broccoli. Anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> okay, so what I say to him is this. I say, hey, listen, Kyron, mm -hmm. if you want some chicken or you want some bread, okay, if you want that, mm -hmm. then I need you to at least try the broccoli. Listen, he doesn't have to eat it, people. I'm not yeah. asking for something difficult. Uh -huh. Just put it on your tongue yeah. or just like try and chew it and yeah. just see if you can like try the texture, you know, introduce it. <laughs> this is difficult, man. Yeah. No one told me parenting would be this hard, but this is not a, sh this is not a show about parenting. Anyway, but here's the deal. I love if then statements. Okay. So I'm trying to get Kyron to eat his vegetables. Okay. okay? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Break that down the, for us, Winston. The veggies are good for him. The veggies are good. Right. Thank it, you. It's not yes. always, you know, right. uh, pleasing to the palate. Well, yeah, that's true. For some. Yeah, that's true. Right, that's we've true. all been there. Right. Like, you give me broccoli or chicken, bro, I'm, I'm going with chicken all day. Come on. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. But as this, as this, how does this pertain to the, the mm -hmm. passage? Right. Right? It's if uh, we, God's people. Mm -hmm. That's good. When we humble ourselves, mm -hmm. right, we, uh, and, and reset and mm -hmm. turn away from mm -hmm. Right, the the very thing that is actually going to bring us life, right. which is a relationship with Him. Right. When we humble ourselves, being God's people, mm -hmm. He then uh, will enter into our uh, mm -hmm. situation That's and restore good. our relationship. That's so good. So, like right now, you're trying to uh, train Kyra. Yeah. All right. Some 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 daddy son training. Yes. Well, your boy was. I my pops was doing the same thing to me. <laughs> 
All right. I, I didn't like the broccoli either. Okay. Mm -hmm. But he would, uh, every Friday, me and my bro, we had to make sure our rooms was clean. Come on. Yes. Right? But here's the catch, y'all. Like, we all know how to clean up a room. Uh, like, when you first walk in, everything looks clean. Mm -hmm. Right? But right. being my dad and being so much wiser than me, mm -hmm. he would then go look underneath my bed. Mm -hmm. And everything that was uh, uh, that looked like a mess, mm -hmm. I would just shove underneath my bed. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. But he would he knew mm -hmm. that I would put it underneath my bed. And guess what? Mm -hmm. He would uh, say, okay, son, I'm going to give you another chance. Mm -hmm. Clean yeah. up underneath your bed. That's good. Right? And, and and here's the thing: if he came back in there, and I was like, "Dad, I'm sorry, I didn't clean up my, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it." Right. And, and he looked underneath my bed again, mm -hmm. and he still saw the stuff. Yeah. Guess what? Our There'd relationship. Be some issues. It'd be some issues. Yeah, for sure. Right. And and it's the same thing as it pertains to our relationship with God. God is calling us to so much more, and there may be some hidden uh, sins. Right. Right. Some some. Some hidden uh, dirt, mess. Right. That are, yeah. That God wants us to deal with. Yeah, bro. That's good. That are keeping us from having this fellowship and intimacy that we want with Christ. So good. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so I think that the way that this can look for you, student, is 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 being apathetic toward your walk with Christ. And you're like, okay, Tishon, mm -hmm. what is apathy? Like, what do you mean? I mean, it's just this idea of, man, we're not excited. Mm -hmm. It's just this idea of, hey, you know what? I'm just I'm just kind of taking a back seat. Yeah. I'm just chilling. It's not that important to me. Mm. Uh, it, it, you know, it's important to me when I have a test or when I need something. But otherwise, uh, it's really just not that important. And we're and we're calling you away from apathy. What we're also calling you away from is this. Is this is the second thing? Is busyness. Mm. Man, I know during this time, we were just talking about this before we shot this video about how, man, we want to not go back to being busy. Yes. You know what I'm saying, Winston? Yeah. And that's so good, T, because uh, the, the reality is that we are busy, mm -hmm. but we're busy with the wrong stuff. Right. We're busy with the wrong stuff. Right. Yeah. And it's like these things, like I was saying earlier, like these things, they have our attention. Mm -hmm. And here's the reality. Our attention is for sale. Mm. It just is. What do you mean by that? So busy is not necessarily yeah. a bad thing, but right. it's our attention that is for sale. And this is what I mean by it. Man, what are we giving our attention to? Mm. So it's like, hey, listen, if you spent your time just, you know, binging Netflix yeah. or man, maybe you've spent your time in all your days and you're just swiping. You know what I'm saying? You're just on your phone looking and looking and looking. Yeah. Man, these are the things that ultimately don't yield a good return. You know what I'm saying? And so as a result, we've been busy doing the wrong things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, here's the reality. Uh, Christ was busy getting man, and getting mentored, getting nourishment from his father. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus said. I must spend my time with the father, right? So that's that's what he was busy doing. So busy is not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. It's just what are you busy doing? That is you so, see what I'm saying? And, and the beautiful thing about what you just said, T, is uh, whenever we are apathetic, mm -hmm. With our walk with Jesus, right, we then allow things into our lives mm -hmm. that cause busyness. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right, oh yeah. So it's like uh, uh, being apathetic, right, or having a lack of enthusiasm mm -hmm. for what is most important That's in good, life bro. will then uh, open you up to mm -hmm. uh, things in this world that will buy your attention. Right, that won't and, yield that return that you want. Exactly. Right, and you ultimately become. What you behold, mm. right? What you let in That's good one, always comes out. Right. And then a lot of times we wonder why we're feeling empty. Mm. And, and then here's the third thing that we want to call you away from is isolation. Mm. And you know, the, 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 it, the slogan, if you will, of quarantine is isolation, if you will, but not for the believer. Yeah. Because for the believer, we are never alone. First and foremost, because we have the creator God who says, hey, listen, I want to have fellowship with you. So there's an all-time 24-7 access to the Father that we have. So we're never alone, yeah. right? We're never alone. Even when we feel like it, even when our community on, yeah. has deserted us, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That friend that we thought would be there, yeah. man, we have access to God who won't leave us. So I'm sorry, Ooh. I was about to go down that road real quick, but I'm going to bring it back. Let's I'm going to bring it back. So here's no, the deal. 
God's calling us away from isolation into true, true, authentic community. And this is what I mean. Let me define that. Some people will say, man, my community is fusion, but they haven't defined that. Mm. Right. They can't give a name. Right. A, 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 a specific person yeah. that they have this community with. I say, hey, listen, I have community with Winston as opposed to saying I have community at Abundant Life. And then you're just like, OK, is that a, like a Sunday school class or is that some you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like it it's not a yeah. general, like specific community. We're calling you guys into community away from isolation. That's so good. You know what I'm saying? You. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And the Bible I, affirms this, too. Yeah. Oh. Most definitely. Yeah. And and here's the thing, students. We are calling you, mm -hmm. okay, uh, to hit reset. Yeah. And, and, and before we can fully uh, experience the fullness of community good, bro. And, and relational, uh, the beautiful thing that you said, T, when you were speaking, you mm -hmm. were talking about how, how God wants to know us. To know us. And, yeah. And, and, and God is personal. Mm -hmm. That's good, bro. Right? Yeah. And we can't forget that. No. No. Right, God. God is not just something that we uh, have just made up. He's he, he's he's far more. That's good. He wants a relationship. He wants fellowship. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing: He's uh, sometimes sin mm -hmm. can break yeah. that fellowship. Right, right, right. And, and 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 the reality is, we all born into sin. Right. I got That's a baby good. girl. She's four months. Mm -hmm. Bro, she will cry her head. I mean, I'm talking about scream. <laughs> Like, and I just walked away from her just for a little bit. As soon as I go to pick her up, mm. that frown turned upside down so fast. And Come she on. started cheesing. I'm like, girl, did you just deceive me? <laughs> like, it wasn't nothing wrong with you. Like, I like, love it. Like, we were all right. born into sin. Right. You don't have to teach a toddler mm -mm. to uh, share, not you know, to, sh to not share. Right. Right. No. Give me, take yeah. mine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, we've, and we all have that in us. Oh, yeah. So here's the reality. Once, even once we become believers. Mm-hmm. We're still going. We're still going to slip up. Right, right. We're still going to wrestle with this. We're still going to wrestle. We we mm -hmm. we still going to mess up. So students, as uh, this first installment of reset mm -hmm. is this idea of repentance. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's this idea of man dealing with some of the sin, some of the mess mm. that we don't. Some we, we turn a blind eye to. Yeah. It's underneath the bed. It's under the bed. Right. Yeah. So so there's a passage in scripture in James. Okay, that I'm going to read okay, yeah. um, and, and hopefully help uh, give the students some handles mm -hmm. as to how we can repent. Right. So it says this in James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, mm -hmm. and he will flee from you. Mm -hmm. Draw near to God, and mm -hmm. he will draw near to you. Mm -hmm. Cleanse your hands, mm. you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Mm. Be wretched and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be mm. turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Mm. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. There's that word again. Humble. Mm. Right. Hum humble yourselves. Right. And, and even before that, it's this idea, right? The if-then statements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we draw near to God. Right. He'll draw near to us. He'll draw near to us. Right. When we resist the devil. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Then he will flee from us. That's good, bro. That's good. And so this is what this looks like for you students that well, we're calling you guys to. So we're going to do this thing. OK, so the Bible says first that we need in, 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 in Second Chronicles 7, 14 says, if my people will pray. Mm. OK, so we're calling you all to prayer. And so what that's going to look like is this super excited. And these are things that not only, Winston, are we trying to do during this quarantine? This is going to go for this is not about a quarantine. Yeah. This is not about trying to just band-aid this thing up so that we can get out of this COVID crisis. No, we're trying to draw to, uh, near to Christ, right? That's good too. And so what we're going to do is we're calling y'all to prayer. So Thursday morning, okay, at 8 o'clock, okay, uh, we're going to be going live on Instagram and we're going to have a time of prayer. And we're calling you not to be apathetic, but to engage with us, mm. okay, to share. Here's the reality. I know many people who need prayer, but it's going to take you being humble, mm -hmm. okay? It's going to take you saying, hey, listen, I can't do this on my own. Yeah. At the forefront of repentance, right, is a is a recognition, right, a, re a recognition that we need Christ, yes. okay? And it starts with humility. And so we need Christ and we need to be humble and say, hey, listen, I'm hurting. Yeah. I need some help. 
So we're going to do that. We're going to have a time of prayer on Thursday morning. Okay, super excited about that. Here's the second thing. Okay, so we're asking y'all to engage with us. Okay, and uh, we're going to be do we're going to be posting a daily fusion challenges okay monday through friday and it's just going to have a prayer Mm -hmm. it's going to have a challenge and then it's going to have a time uh, something to journal about right there a prayer a challenge and a journal it's going to be posted right in the little dot section on instagram i don't know what that little circle is at the top (laughs) that's right before your feed i don't know Uh call me boomer if you want but listen the circle thing the circle thing okay i'm not a boomer i'm a millennial yeah. So here's the deal. It's going to be posted right there. It's going to say Fusion Challenge. Click on that and you'll know exactly what to read, what to pray, and what to journal about. So I'm super excited about that. So Thursday morning prayer yeah. and our Fusion Challenge. Yeah. Come that's, on. That's it, guys. Hey, we want you to reset. Mm. Clean out un- what's underneath the bed, y'all. Mm. You need some community. On the other side of confessing sin, mm-hmm. right, and, and, and having a repentant heart is freedom. Right. 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 The thing that's been gripping and holding on to you mm. gets released mm. whenever you bring it to the light. Mm. So students, we don't want this to be a one-time thing. Right. Right. Repentance is a lifestyle. That's good, bro. Prayer is it's a, a lifestyle. lifestyle. Yeah. Community it's is a lifestyle. lifestyle. And that is what we are after, students. This is what Reset is about. Mm-hmm. And this is the direction that we are heading into. We're not about uh, doing a right. list of things. But no. embodying that's good. who Jesus that's good, is. Winston. So that's good. Listen, we don't want to just be hearers of the word. We want to be doers of the word. So y'all, uh, super excited about this. We'll see you uh, tonight, uh, ready to play a game with us, and then we'll see you tomorrow morning at eight a.m. for Thursday morning prayer. Come on Let's with go. us. Join with us. We love you guys so much. We'll see you really soon. Bless up. Peace, love y'all.